Hi, my name's Kerry Griffiths. I'm one of the counsellors at St John's Counselling and Bereavement Service based at the hospice in Ball Bay. I'm hoping today to just give people some support and guidance in how to cope with grief during this extremely difficult time. Grief is a natural response to loss, and in particular the loss of a loved one. It's important to remember that grief is not something that we get over. We somehow just learn to live with it. For the people that I support, I describe grief as a huge hole that's left within us, and this hole can never be filled. But we can build around that. So the grief doesn't get any smaller, but as we learn to build around that hole, we learn to live with the grief and eventually find a new normal. Grief is an individual journey, so it's extremely important to remember that there is no right or wrong way to grieve. For anyone who has lost a loved one to COVID-19 or for any other reason, you will be feeling and experiencing a variety of thoughts, feelings and emotions that you might never have felt before. Some of these thoughts and feelings can range from shock, anger, disbelief to profound sadness. All of these and many more thoughts, feelings and emotions will vary from one person to the next. But please remember, they are all normal, even though they won't feel normal to you at that time. Coping with the loss of someone you love will potentially be one of the most difficult challenges that you will ever face in life, especially during this immensely difficult time. The grieving process cannot be stopped. It can't be ignored and it can't be made better. You need time to allow the healing to happen Gradually, it can't be forced and it can't be hurried. And there is no normal timetable for the grieving process. Although we can't stop the grieving process, we can look at things that can help you through this extremely difficult time. First of all, allow yourself to acknowledge the thoughts, feelings and emotions and pain associated with your loss. By acknowledging them, you will then give yourself the opportunity to express and normalise them. The most important way to do this is to talk. Talk to loved ones, talk to a friend, talk to a neighbour or even a colleague. Although talking cannot take the pain away that you will be feeling, it can give a sense of release and relief to just share feelings, thoughts and emotions with another person. Grief can also affect your physical health, making it at times difficult to sleep, eat and function on a daily basis. Be kind to yourself and look after your physical health as much as is reasonably possible and don't be afraid to speak to your GP if needed. For anyone supporting a loved one through a bereavement, please don't try to fix them or make them feel better. Just simply be there and listen. This is the most powerful thing that anyone else could do for that person that is grieving. If you feel your grief is too much to bear and talking to loved ones doesn't help, please remember there is professional support out there that can give you a confidential space to help you process and deal with your grief. And please remember, although grief is an individual journey and at times can feel so very lonely, you don't have to walk that journey alone. Someone can be by your side, so please reach out and gain support. All the contact information for the agencies who can help you are here.